And the next topic is aromatherapists versus amylamers. Do they hate each other and what's the deal? Um, Amy, what's your take on it? So there seems to be like this, like you said, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of MLMers that say things like "be careful where you get your information from" or "I chose not to be an aromatherapist because I don't believe I I believe in the modality." I've actually heard this. I I believe in the modality of X Y Z company that I'm part of, and I just think like that's not a modality. <laughs> that's just selling product. Um, and then the other way around too, I mean, there are some aromatherapists who are just very, um, really very negative towards MLMers. And I don't think that that has to be the case. I think that there's, um, there's value in both. Um, and I think that if there's understanding, like I just, I just don't like it. I don't know what more to say on it other than I just, it's hard for me to watch because it doesn't have to be the way it is. Mm. Yeah. And I agree. Like there's, it doesn't have to be that way. Like there doesn't have to be division. Like mm -hmm. I know when I was just strictly an MLM or like I felt there was a lot of heat. Sometimes there was aromatherapists that were like not so pleasant yes. and they're really like, I think sometimes like I think it's important for both parties to just stay humble and not say, well, I'm right. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. And then when I was an aromatherapist, I also got a lot of heat or people just like being really negative and really mean and really rude because I was an aromatherapist or just like poo pooed on me, you know, kind of thing. And I, I just don't think that has to happen. But I think the reason why it does happen for those who kind of um, haven't really looked into it a lot, I think the reason why it happens is because um, a lot of people like MLMers, will find essential oils that work for them that change their life that change the life of their family and i think it's really honorable to want to share that um, however unfortunately there's not a not a lot of education provided with the mlm companies and i know there are certain kind of like certifications with the programs which i think are really sketchy i've kind of looked into them so be careful mm -hmm. about getting educated from the companies um, so they're spending all this information and then as on the other side aromatherapists see this and they see people getting hurt they see people like having to bring their baby and their young kids into the hospital because they can't breathe because their parents put peppermint or eucalyptus on them or around their faces um and then they see that like you know teacher mlm or is decide oh, i'm going to diffuse my classroom that's a good way of like promoting my oils and talking to parents it's going to be like a conversation starter and then issues arise the kids have allergies do the kids have asthma do the kids you know are there essential oils that are not safe for the kids um i've seen news stories where um people there's a school that ended up calling and i think it's the fire station when they think mm -hmm. that there's carbon monoxide poisoning or yes if i got that right because yes. the kids eyes were dilated and then they trace it back to a diffuser that mm -hmm. wasn't properly I remember used. that yeah. yeah so it's like so i understand why um, aromatherapists can be like, uh, but then I understand how like MLMers could be like, uh, because like they're trying to do the business and then they have the resistance of the aromatherapist. Sometimes the aromatherapist is kind of rude. Sometimes the aromatherapist is kind, but either way, this person's trying to build a business. So, like I see mm -hmm. why this happens, but I think, I just don't think it's really necessary. Yeah, like, I, I yeah, agree. I think there's a way, like I mentioned somebody, I, we both know her. She's an aromatherapist and an MLMer, and she's awesome. Um, yeah, and so, I mean, it can go hand in hand. I, I don't, um, I think you're right. I think the frustration comes because they're like, hey, I'm trying to build a business here. Um, and, and it's frustrating to have someone say, okay, you're not, the information that you're spreading is, is unsafe because they don't want to feel like nobody wants to feel poo pooed on, you know, like, and, mm -hmm. and that's, I understand that feeling. Um, I had a conversation with somebody a year and a half ago where um, I was looking in into joining her in her business. And this is an MLM business. And um, I was excited and I was like, I'm an aromatherapist and this is going to be awesome. And as soon as I told her I was an aromatherapist, it was like, Oh, well, was it an oily MLM? Yes. Okay. Yes. It was an oily MLM and she, and, um, so it's actually one that I was already a part of, but I was looking to, I hadn't been active in it and I was looking to switch to her team anyway. So, um, mm -hmm. she, when I told her I was an aromatherapist, it just automatically, oh, well, 
we, we kind of see things and teach things differently here. And so I want you to, you know, it was automatically, I felt automatically disqualified. <laughs> um, and like m- all of my study and hard work in becoming an aromatherapist was not valued because for whatever reason I was wrong the way I looked at essential oils. And that was, that was hard. Yeah. And like, it takes, it, it becomes so personal too, right? Yeah, it does. And it's, and it's like, at the same time, like as like someone, if I was an MLM or I didn't know, and I just wanted to like build my business, build my business, like momentum, right? That's a key word in like MLMs, momentum. Then you have an aromatherapist in the Facebook group saying like cautioning people or making them kind of like put on the brakes. That's not really helpful for the business either financially. Yeah. Like, man, like I- I've had something similar too, where I was in one of the Facebook groups and someone said, is this, I have uh, somebody who's interested in buying essential oils and they want to know if like this essential oil is safe for my kids. And this is before I was really educated, but I was looking into resources. I was like, well, according to Tisserine, it's this, according to this, just thought I'd leave these resources here just in case anyone wanted to look at like people who were like, I'm um, professionals. And then someone like legit, like was like, well, you know what? Aromatherapists know nothing and they're crap. And like, you know, like instead of just like attacking me, I was like, I'm not even mm-hmm. one. Like, I'm just kind of like providing some like neutral resources. Yeah. So it's like, there's a hostility, but then there's also hostility on the other side. Like I, yeah. when I was, after I became an aromatherapist and I joined another, like I went back to one of the MLM oily companies I was at the, one of the rooms to, one of the rules to be part of the Facebook group of aromatherapists was like, you cannot be an MLM or you cannot be involved in MLM. Which I was like, okay, I'm not going to be promoting it. So I applied to be in it. Cause so I was like, I, I mean, why not? Like, I'm not going to be promoting yeah. it. And he like went through all my Facebook stuff and found that I had a post with, that company's products and he like blocked or he likes like you can't come in you're an MLMer and like there's a time where he contacted me before because I put like I I I advertise my services on marketplace like if anyone wants to get to know about oils this is before I was an aromatherapist like you know consultations which I was kind of questionable now looking back on it and he went in he was just like insulting the whole time and I'm like, man, like, can people be kind? <laughs> like on both yeah. sides, can people just be kind? Well, and it's an it's unfortunate too because um, if there was a better relationship there, think of think of the benefits, you know, mm. think of the benefits of people having the knowledge and the information and the power to use essential oils safely and and sustainably and. Um, and just being confident in that, I think that would be, but unfortunately there's, like you said, there's this hostility there. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I just saw Tammy's comment, but it was from before about the baby getting the breathe. Oh, yeah. Like, sprinkle in the face. Yeah. Poor baby. Yeah. Can't, can't imagine. 